morning guys welcome to a quite dark and dingy morning it's getting down to winter now middle of october nights are drawing in mornings are getting much much longer making it feel very early however what is making me feel awake is the fact i'm headed down to goodwood with bell and colwood again uh, we're tagging onto the back of a octane magazine track day which is going to be really exciting so i'm imagining there's going to be some cool cars down there I know that we've got the 311 down there along with a Lotus Exige Cup R, the race version of the Exige. So, and I think under the impression that I'm going to be doing passion laps all day, which is always a very exciting thought to have um, headed towards a circuit for um, an entire track day. So, um, we will be bringing you that, showing a few bits of reaction in terms of the passengers that, that, that we've got, and also. Um, some nice fast laps around Goodwood, hopefully a few sideways moments, uh, not too big though. Um, it looks like it's a bit damp at the moment, but I think it should be drying up a little bit later on. So yeah, let's go meet the cars, let's go see the circuit, let's go do this. So I've just arrived at the Bell & Cole showroom to this lovely number. So it's been a while since I've been to B&C, but um, yeah, it looks like they've got onto their second 311, which I don't think anyone else can say they can do, which looks like it's a road going version. Uh, the classic, obviously black and gold uh, livery, JPS livery for the 311, perfect choice for it. Um, obviously brand spanking new by the looks of things. So. Yeah, that looks proper mean, this colour. Proper mean. Customer soon. Um, have to quiz the guys about that a little bit later on. To see, see who, who and when it's off to. But yeah, great spec, great choice for that particular customer. And it's got me even more excited to get hold of the off oh, the being C three hundred and eleven a little bit later on around Goodwood. So this one's got the fixed rear wing. It says uh, not. Oh no. It's not got the fixed rear, uh, rear wing, it's got the holes in which you can adjust it, so it's got the motorsport rear wing. Um, got the manual gearbox in this, uh, the beautifully exposed linkage that Lotus now do. Uh, it's even got a centre mirror. Absolute shock. Visibility is not the greatest around the back of these things. Then again, not not a lot can stay close to it to actually want to look in the rear view mirror, so um, not a huge amount of need for it, but yeah. So he's got the matte pack on part of the trim, the rear wing, the roll hoop, and the sort of centre storage locker as well, uh, which switches it up from the gloss black that he's obviously got for the paintwork. So there's a little bit of, again, matte black down the side for the sills here. <coughs> Nice little spec that, something a bit different, not seen that before. And that, that black at the back as well. Yeah, that was really cool. And under those wrappers, We've got the carbon seats as well. You can just about see that in this light underneath the, the wrappers themselves. So, yeah, quite a nicely spec one. It's got a sort of standard wheel on it with airbag by the looks, as opposed to the quick release wheel that the um, BNC tracks a little bit more track focused car has. So, yeah, it's interesting to see the different specs these things are going to start coming out of the factory with. Shiny, shiny. Well, this is a cool little treat. I uh, thought I was going to be sharing a lift down with one of my uh, co workers. However, I've been given the keys to an XZ350, so reunited with the car that I ran in a few, a few months ago over summer. And uh, yeah, certainly makes the A road driving back down to Goodwood a lot more fun than uh, cruising down with someone. So I'm fully in with all my kits. So standard Tetris style packing to get everything in the, the Lotus and with my helmet, gloves, suit, all my 
race kit effectively because obviously we're in the 311 a little bit later on today so it's cozy to say the least but spacious enough um, so yeah nice little treat here Anyways, uh, we're at the Octane Classic car track day, so there's some pretty cool stuff here. There's a uh, Aston Martin DB5, uh, Jag Mark II, Austin A35 uh, going around. There was obviously the revival meeting, so that looks really cool. Uh, and whoever's driving it seems to be pedaling it pretty quick. Um, so I think we're going to stand out quite a bit today because obviously we've got three brand spanking new cars from uh, Lotus, uh, which means there's going to be quite a speed differential, I think out on circuit but I should make it quite fun I think uh, for anyone who wants to jump in and have a go so these guys are obviously all track and race enthusiasts um, which is perfect for something like the uh, the 311 so yeah it'll be interesting to see what they think uh, a couple of really tasty looking uh, uh, old Porsches 70s Porsches as well so uh, we'll make sure we go have a look at those throughout the day so yeah just wait for the noise test at the moment and then uh, we'll go have a quick walk around lunch after a good morning's running uh, it's been fun taking everyone out obviously in, off of the passenger laps uh, they're all blown away by the car the speed of it um, there's actually a couple of track day newbies so the first time they've even been out on circuit so it was nice to go a bit crazy and uh, yeah show them what the, what the 311 can do around the, the fast and flowing Goodwood circuit make some really interesting chaps at lunch as well uh, they're piloting Alfa Giulietta um, Austin Healey 3000 and a McLaren 570S as well so yeah very interesting uh, chaps to meet up with uh, and just generally talk cars with so um, yeah see if we can get a closer look at their, their cars a little bit later on so. <laughs> big into my historic tyres I must admit so I have no idea what it is but yeah speaking to 